In the year 563 BC, a man brought a new perspective to things in India. And his ideas helped many people who were suffering under the caste system. This man was called Siddhartha Gautama. But in time, he came to be known as Buddha. The young Siddhartha was the main heir to a small kingdom. His father loved him greatly and did not want him to know suffering. The young prince was isolated in a wonderful palace, surrounded by various pleasures, servants, and delightful music. In this way, his father tried to hide aging, sickness, and death from him. But Siddhartha suspected that there was more to life than his luxurious prison. And since he was a restless young man, he began to leave the palace to see his subjects. The first time that he went forth, he saw an old, stooped man. Another time, he saw a sick man. And on another occasion, he saw a dead man. Siddhartha was dismayed. He didn't know about the suffering people had to endure in the real world. He decided not to return to his life of fantasy. Instead, he abandoned all his wealth to meditate on the suffering of people in the world. Siddhartha went deep into the woods and lived without a home. He shaved his head and wore nothing but rags. Siddhartha practiced something called meditation. Using the power of his mind, he slowed down his breathing, only ate a tiny bit of food, and could remain virtually motionless for hours or even days. He meditated to learn the mysteries of the universe. He spent years meditating, eventually learning to meditate more deeply than any other man. One day, something happened. It was like a great light turned on in his soul. Siddhartha left to tell his people of his great discovery. From that day on, he was known as Buddha, which means the enlightened one. All suffering is born from the desire to acquire something. If we manage to stop desiring, we will also stop suffering. Buddha taught that by controlling one's desires, a person could become their own master. So that when one dies, one will no longer need to be reborn as something else and one's soul will reach nirvana, where suffering and ailments do not exist. This means a person's soul could remain in a state of peace forever.